Hello, my name is Zaki Anastasiu. We are here at the Flying Circus. These guys are situated in Midrand and they've got this technology that's so unique that you will only find this technology in 15 places around the world because 15 different studios are using this. Now, you may wonder what this technology is, but let me give you a hint. Did you watch the movie Avatar? So Avatar was the big break for motion capture. It's been around for quite a long time. And so they had the performers were in a large studio wearing the suits, which have marker balls on them, which are tracked by the cameras. You'll, you'll see that a little bit later on. And um, so none of them, most of Avatar wasn't real. The whole movie was almost virtual. The, the primary advantage of motion capture allows you to animate human or humanoid um, characters, creatures or animated characters very, very accurately and very quickly. So it's not a replacement for animation, it's a massive enhancement tool. How different is it for a creative director to try and visualize yeah. it? Because it's a different game now. Yeah, I, I, I must admit, I've done uh, quite a few animated commercials and immediately I always had that headache that I'm going to have to book in the animation, it's going to have to go through the team traditionally, then I'm going to have to come back and then I'm going to have to spend weeks and weeks changing it and updating it and doing exactly what I want. When now, I can stand in the studio with the artist in that outfit that you'll see later and we can live direct them right there and update it live in real time, which you'll see in our studio, and we can then change that on the spot. And I think that's the big, big difference. So check this out. This suit's got all the Velcro, okay? So all the technology's on here. It's pretty hit, hot, actually. It feels like a wetsuit. But this is the technology that everything gets stuck to. We'll find out in a moment how it all interacts with all the cameras and what happens where. So basically, you're picking up my movement with this. That's, that's exactly what it is. And it's more specifically, it's the movement of each of these little marks. So inside the volume, as the markers move, and there's, I think, Martin, there's 46 of them in total, the camera records the movement of every single marker. Every 46 marker is recorded? Yes. Wow. And it records at 100 frames a second. So there's quite a lot of uh, data that needs to be processed very, very well in real time. Okay, but now I'm fascinated by this. So we've got all of these things capturing me. So the cameras see me, um, they're basically developing an, a, a, like a skeleton. Correct. A skeleton of a human being. Wow, I um, understand it exactly. And <laughs> you're basically capturing all those movements in 3D from yes. every single direction in this room. Yes. And then on top of that, you can put anything you want on it. Correct. Now That's this is uh, mind-blowing stuff. Yes. Uh, this yes. is like a wow moment for the production industry in this country. Most definitely, yes. I mean, it's, it's the first of its kind in Africa. Okay, so I'm dressed in this funny suit. I've got all these sensors, I've been calibrated. All these 40 cameras are able to monitor every single movement that I've done. Martin has built like an, a skeleton of me and they've put something over that that's gonna resemble a robot. Now remember, you can do anything. You can put a lion, you can put a gorilla, you can do everything. For today's exercise, we're using a robot. So, but look on that screen over there, that's me. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.